This story is about Paul Shun Jeffrey, 20 years old, who was found stabbed to death in her apartment, and her two-year-old son, Taylor Mosley. His body was found in the mouth of an alligator in a recreation area in St. Petersburg, Florida. These stories get crazier and crazier, you know, as I see them. And it's really sad that this is what's going on in the world. The boy's father, 21-year-old Thomas Mosley, has been charged with two counts of first-degree murder in the death of his ex-girlfriend and his two-year-old son. Why you had to kill your son with your crazy ass? The cause of Taylor's death is unknown. But Jeffrey was found stabbed multiple times in her apartment. Jeffrey and her son had last been seen by family members around 5.20 p.m. on Wednesday. Later, around 8.30 p.m., Neighbors heard a loud commotion near their apartment, but police was not called. Why y'all didn't call the police when y'all heard all this noise? We neighbors got to do better. When you hear loud commotions and people screaming and yelling, we need to be calling Popo 911. The next day, Jeffrey's mother contacted the apartment complex property manager after not hearing from her daughter. That's when they found her dead. The FBI and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement had joined local authorities to search for two-year-old Mosley. So they went diving and looking for this little baby. Thomas Mosley, with his sorry ass, went to his mother's house about 9 p.m. on Wednesday with cuts on his arms and hands, and then admitted his sorry self to a local hospital. So you had to go admit yourself to the hospital because you was all cut up, but you cut up and killed your baby mama. Sorry, young man. Now you didn't throw your life away at 21 years old behind what? What you were so mad about? That you had to kill your girl and your two-year-old son who did absolutely nothing to you. So enjoy your stay in the penthouse because I don't think your ass is going to be getting out of jail no time soon. Here goes the rest of the story. Y'all be careful with these crazy-ass people out here in this world. You know, it's amazing that the one that's supposed to love you so much are the ones that's killing you. Be careful with who you let into your life. Seriously. And if you know their ass is crazy as hell, you might want to slowly back off. Don't try to argue with no crazy ass person. Someone that doesn't know how to practice or use self-control. They just all over the place. Don't waste your time arguing with a person like that. You're not going to win. You'll probably end up dead like this young lady. May her and her son rest in peace. And I hope your ass don't ever get out of jail. Here goes the rest of the story. Damn. I always have to do these crazy ass stories. People don't know how to control their damn self. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. You are straddled the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Please like dislike, subscribe, and share the videos. Now let's go.
family of both Taylor Mosley and Passion Jeffrey are grieving tonight after Taylor was found dead. It is my condolences going out to the family and to his loved ones. We are sorry that it had to end this way. St. Pete Police Chief Anthony Holloway said detectives saw an alligator with an object in its mouth at Dell Holmes Park. That's across town from the apartment where Jeffrey was stabbed to death. They fired one round uh, to the alligator. The alligator dropped the object that he had in his mouth and we were able to retrieve Talon's body intact. Talon's father, Thomas Mosley, is charged with two counts of first degree murder for both Talon and Passion's deaths. We didn't want to find him this way, but at least we can bring some closure to that family now. Earlier today, that family spoke about mother and son. He's always calling his mom on his cell phone. Yep, always. He misses mom, they call each other all the time. She really loved Tay Taylor. Please don't know how Taylor got to the lake or the cause of death for the toddler. We just want to say um, that Taylor is a beautiful little boy and he's really loving and caring. According to Chief Holloway, Thomas Mosley is still in the hospital. Police said Wednesday, the last time Passion and Taylor were seen alive, was Mosley's 21st birthday. Dell Holmes Park, after investigators say their search for a missing two-year-old ended on Friday night, investigators discovered Taylor Mosley deceased in Lake Magori. Detectives were searching the body of water Friday afternoon. Spotted an alligator with an object in, in his mouth. As the, as the detective got closer, they fired one round uh, to the alligator. The alligator dropped the object that he had in his mouth. Police say the toddler's mother, Passion Jeffrey, was discovered dead inside her apartment on Thursday afternoon around 2.30. The 20-year-old had multiple stab wounds. For the past two days, police searched the area around Lincoln Shore's apartments. An Amber Alert was issued for the missing boy. Friday, detectives discovered his body in a lake nearly 20 minutes from the apartment complex. St. Pete police say the child's father, Thomas Mosley, remains hospitalized after going to the hospital with numerous cuts on his hands and arms. He faces two charges of first degree murder. Uh, when the detectives went out and spoke to him, uh, spoke to him, he didn't want to talk to the detectives. And then later on, he asked for an attorney.